we're looking into inflation and the impact that it's having on our families. You know, people talk about inflation, but what exactly is inflation and what causes it? Well, the basic definition of inflation is the rate of increase in prices over a period of time. CNBC says the increased spending as the economy reopens in the wake of the pandemic, plus supply chain setbacks, is what's driving prices higher and decreasing your purchasing power. Right now, state lawmakers are trying to figure out how to provide relief to Hoosiers. And Dustin Grove joins us now with a look with a debate over dollars and cents. Hey there, Dustin. Good evening. One longtime lawmaker told me today this should not be a partisan issue. And when it comes to relief from all of this, nobody can afford to wait. From the gas station to the grocery store and everywhere in between. You name it. The price of everything is painfully up and we're feeling it. Cars, automobiles, and all that good stuff. As lawmakers debate how to provide relief, Representative Terry Austin says Indiana is sitting on a projected $6 billion surplus and Hoosiers should get a share of that back. I think everything ought to be on the table at this point. Austin and fellow Democrats have been pushing to suspend Indiana's gas tax, but the Republican majority hasn't budged. Trying to get money back into the Hoosiers' hands, that's not a great way to do it. So what is? GOP leaders point to the billion dollars in tax cuts they approved earlier this year, including those $125 automatic refund checks. Lawmakers also eliminated the utility receipts tax and voted to reduce the individual income tax. First of all, I would remind people that the income tax reduction doesn't fully take effect until, what is it, 2029? People can't wait that long. Austin says the state can afford to do more now in the form of another automatic refund. Even if we end up giving people $300 to $500, say we break it up in two payments spread over three to six months. Could that happen? House Speaker Todd Houston last week said they're keeping the options open. We are always about sending more money back to Hoosiers, and uh, we're going to watch what the revenue forecasts and what the revenue comes in the next couple months. And if we have an opportunity to come back and do that, we will do it. And remember, Governor Holcomb said last week he was working on what he called an inflationary relief plan, but that's all he said, so we don't know what that might look like. We should find out in the next month. Scott and Marie.